Texas Reentry Symposium is um, what was put on today at the Velo Mansion in downtown Dallas. It was a full day symposium with attendees from all across the criminal justice arena. Well, they're great because they are um, a way for the different um, community efforts to come together in one area. So uh, we don't have a lot of duplication of services and, um, and then lacking in some areas. The state, we have 23,000 volunteers, but we have 151,000 offenders. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, there's always room for volunteers to come in. Uh, the state, like most state agencies, has a limited budget that is, is there for programming, and, um, and volunteers actually expand that budget. not just about prosecuting criminals. It's about helping those who can't help themselves. So I Uh, our major program is the IOP SOP programs, which is uh, substance abuse recovery. Uh, but we also offer things like uh, thinking for a change, anger management, marijuana intervention, and we do some individual therapy as well. You had a 70% right away was to give them speakers who would engage them and talk about the issues that are really facing formerly incarcerated and those who are on probation and parole. Two job seekers. When we had this event last year, uh, there was 85 employers and employment-related resources um, that attended the event, and 1,200 job seekers. And what we saw was that a lot of the people in our community that really needed these jobs, um, like people who are going through reentry, uh, was that there weren't a lot of matches for them uh, for employment. So one of the reasons that we came to the uh, Texas Reentry Symposium today is to find more resources for job seekers who may have backgrounds. So we're looking for more second chance employers uh, who are background friendly, um, but also just to get the word out. This is a really important thing for our community and uh,